Panic disorder is a condition in which inappropriate, intense apprehension and physical symptoms of fear occur so frequently as to produce significant impairment. This neurosis is characterized by such symptoms as shortness of breath, chest pain, sweating, dizziness, and a fear of dying or losing mental functioning. It is usually precipitated by a negative life event. Many people with panic disorder also develop an agoraphobic fear of situations in which they might have an attack. Agoraphobia fears typically involve characteristic clusters of situations that include being outside the home alone, being in a crowd or standing in a line, being on a bridge or traveling in a bus, train, or automobile. These abnormal fears are sometimes accompanied by anxiety attacks. A pathological fear of being in public places often results in the sufferer becoming homebound. Dr. Helen Hudson is a retired criminal psychologist who testifies against and profiles serial killers. She is very well known in her field of work and frequently lectures on the subject. Dr. Hudson was attacked by a killer she testified against and witnessed him kill one of her police bodyguards. After he was sentenced to jail, he threatened to kill her. This brought about a deep fear and a great amount of anxiety in Dr. Hudson. She confines herself to her house and puts in prime security systems to feel safe due to her fear and anxiety. Dr. Hudson is a heavy drinker and takes pills for her condition. Dr. Hudson's social relationships are limited to her live-in assistant and anonymous online friends she communicates with. Her panic attacks happen often enough that she keeps anti-anxiety medications in several places in her house for easy access. She has a live-in assistant to aid her in case she passes out during her attacks. Because of her alcohol and pill use, she doesn't trust her own thoughts or actions from time to time. This next clip portrays a common nightmare that she experienced often. John Adams. Please. Jefferson. James Monroe. James Madison. Um, John Quincy Adams. Andy? Andy? John Quincy Adams. Andrew Jackson. Um, Martin Van Buren. William Henry. This is so stupid. Uh, Calvin Coolidge. Andy? A panic attack is a brief period of intense fear that develops abruptly and reaches a peak within 10 minutes. During a panic attack, a person experiences several symptoms which can include pounding and accelerated heart rate, sweating, trembling or shaking, sensations of smothering, chest pain, nausea, dizziness, and a fear of losing control or dying, among other things. Watch in this next segment as Dr. Hudson experiences a panic attack brought on by the sight of crime scene photos. Scumbags must pay pretty well. Now, we can't afford to pay you your usual fee, but if you would be so kind as to look... I don't want these here. Would you be more comfortable looking at them downtown? I don't want to see these here. Well, I'll drive you if you prefer. Andy. Andy! 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 
In the last clip, we saw the contingencies that Dr. Hudson and her aide, Andy, already had in place to deal with her panic attacks. Dr. Hudson's agoraphobia is so extreme that she is incapable of leaving her home. Watch what happens when she simply tries to retrieve her newspaper from the hall outside her apartment. In one part of the movie, there is actually an intruder in her home, and she still is unable to leave. Of course, in the real world, outside of Hollywood, things are usually different. Agoraphobia generally refers to a perception of being anxious about having a panic attack in an environment of little control. Dr. Hudson, on the other hand, suffered a horrible event which ingrained true fear within her. Watch the next clip where the recent serial killer has just attempted and failed to kill her by recreating the original attack. <laughs> Aside from the fact that he thinks he's about to kill her, he's also taking credit for curing her agoraphobia. While facing one's fears is a form of treatment used for phobias, it's hard to imagine that it would have worked in this particular situation. While there are pharmacological treatments for panic disorder with agoraphobia, cognitive behavioral therapy is the most studied and validated form of therapy. Cognitive restructuring is helpful in focusing on reducing anxiety sensitivity interoceptive exposure to feared bodily sensations, and in vivo exposure to the previously avoided and feared situations. 
This concludes our discussion of panic disorder with agoraphobia. Thanks for watching.